Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to do some advanced techniques with MicMyAdmin with your Minecraft server. Um, we're first going to start off by showing you how to reset your admin password without actually going into MicMyAdmin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your MicMyAdmin folder, open up your MicMyAdmin conf, scroll down until you see login username or login password. Your login username here, uh, you can change it to anything you want to be besides admin if you want to make it harder for someone to crack into it so it's not the default. And then uh, right here is your MD5 cache for your password. So with something like this, you, if you actually forgot what it was, you can actually decrypt this or you can actually paste here your new MD5 cache of something you wanted. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go into the web browser, go to md5encryptor.com. I'll post this in the description. And you're going to type in whatever the password you want. So what I'm going to do is type in password 1234, enter in the CAPTCHA, and click encrypt. And right here you see I've already done that. And so this is what I've come up with in my MD5 cache. And then you're just going to copy this and go back in here and paste it here. And you're going to save this. And then all you have to do is open up like my admin, let it start up normally again, go back in here, and then just type in the password in the prompt, and it, you should be all set, and the server should be up and running. Now if it doesn't come up with the prompt, you may have to go into your cache, which I'm using Google Chrome, and clear your browsing data. Just empty your cache, that's all you'll have to do. And then you should get your login prompt. Or if you're having a problem and it keeps giving you incorrect, you'll just have to clear your cache. And it should be working fine after that. But if you want to decrypt it, all you have to do is paste your MD5 into here. That's right. No, it's not. Okay, these things are so hard to read. And then down here, bam, look at that, decrypts it right to my password that I just created. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to set up your backups. So right now it says I only can use seven. I'll show you how to increase that. So the first thing we're going to do again is we're going to want to stop our server. I'm not going to worry about having to stop it gracefully right now because I'm not doing anything on it. And we're going to open up the McMahon Conf again. Loading that. I'm just going to search for backups. This backup path, you can change what the backup path is, and right here is the limit. So I'm going to do one for every day. So a total of 31 backups, and I'm going to save the document. And now I'm just going to minimize this. I'm going to pick my admin again. This is just to prevent, just in case someone actually does get into my server and grief it that I really wouldn't have to worry too much about it. I mean, once a day is actually kind of low for me. Right now on my main server, I do do it four times a day. If I go into backups, see right now I have 31 stored, which is pretty nice. So now let's just go into the schedule. And so right now, I don't even have any backups set up for this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to do once per day at Let's say, how about let's say right at 8 o'clock at night. So that would be right at 20. You want to do that because if people, um, someone griefs your server, you want it to be right in between where most people are active, right in between their shift at the most active time so that you have as much possible stuff backed up as possible. If you do it right at the end, um, let's say let's say uh, people log off at like midnight and you want to, don't want to bother them while they're playing and someone comes in and griefs it right at the end of that, they're going to lose all the stuff they did that day and people are going to be upset. But if you do it right in between, they only, let's say they only lose four hours of work and that's not as bad as losing a total of eight hours one day and people might not even want to come back and play again after that. And so we're going to do um, back up the current world and then just do add event. And so with that, 
we're going to do want to do another one that says send uh, send a server notice and I like to put it five minutes before because it's going to lag the server um, backing up Leave state in five minutes and then in one minute away from it let's put another one say backing up world in one minute and right at the right time say backing up world prepare for lag so I would do that if I was doing multiple backups I would do this for each backup of the day so just just so people know what's going on just like they did here pretty much servers were starting just pretty much a pre-warning that, that people notice that the backup is gonna let you know lag them out and they won't be able to break blocks while it's happening all right, so now that I've showed you how to reset your password and set up your backups, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is, um, just in case someone does grief your server, I'm going to show you how to track them down. So um, in here, if you do notice when they come online, uh, when they do come online, it'll show you their IP address when they connect right in here. But sometimes, you know, you might catch them a day late. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, you know, connect right into your server, whether it be through your you know, you might SSH into it or whatever you're going to want to do, but you're going to go right into your Minecraft folder. And then you're going to want to go into your logs. You might have a lot of log files in here, but you're going to want to go in there. And you're going to want to check through your log files and try to see if you can find their IP address or your player name. And once you have your player name, you're going to throw your player name in here. And then you're going to want to find their IP address, whether it be in their logs whatever, and then they're going to throw their IP address in here. This will ban them so they can't connect to the server again. And now with that, let's see, there's another spot in here. If you go into World Players folder, you'll find all the people who have joined to your server. And so anyone who looks unfamiliar will be the usernames that you should add to your ban list. Um, sometimes if you right-click on them and open with Notepad++, you might get lucky and you'll be able to read it. And inside there will be all the user information and their IP. Uh, for me, it's not working today, but on some occasions, if you're not using Bucket, or if you're just using the regular vanilla um, Minecraft with McMyAdmin, uh, you can go in there and, and find their IPs and then add them to the ban list there too. Um, I believe that is all I wanted to cover. If you guys have any more questions or need any more help with uh, Make My Admin, feel free to post and I'll see if I can make another video for you. But until then, hope this helps. I'll talk to you later.